Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are going to do another how-to video and no I don't look scary like I did in my last couple because I had no makeup on in those videos. Um, I have got a bit of foundation on, a bit of concealer on and I mean face powder on my eyes and a little lick of mascara and I have no eyebrows or nothing on because today we're just going to talk about bronzers and blushers. I'm going to talk about both in the same video because a lot of these are to do with your face shape which I'll be covering in a different video. Um, and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do bronzers and blushes in this video and go through the types and kind of how to pick your colour ish. Again, it's kind of hard. You kind of have to just think yourself and um, I'll give you all the factors that you need to think about when you're picking your colour anyway and the different types and everything like that and kind of application techniques to a point. And I'm going to do my contour and highlight videos as well, maybe together also, but they might be separately because it's a good bit in that as well. Um, but with that, again, a lot of it stems with your face shape. So what I'm doing is I'm doing these videos first because they're more kind of product based and then we'll go on to face shapes and then you can just reference back for colors and picking your colors and everything like that and your techniques to these videos to apply to your face shapes. So I'm going to do face shapes all all in one video and it's going to be blush, bronzer, contour, highlight all in the face shapes video for each face shape. That could be a very long, long video, but I'm planning on like having like little charts and everything up on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about when I'm talking about these. I'll probably do eye shapes as well, which is quite hard for a lot of people. So yeah, I hope it all works out. I hope it turns out okay. I hope you guys are liking it. Um, there's a good bit of work on it. I have a notebook full of notes and everything for these. So we are going to start with bronzers. Okay, so the reason that I did pair blush and bronzer together is because they have a similar kind of function to each other. They're both colour. So they're both to add colour to the face, warmth to the face, a bit more freshness to the skin, um, more warmer kind of tan look to the skin with the bronzer and then your natural flush to the cheeks with your blusher. You will you could use them like separately depending on your skin tone and how you want your skin to look. You can use them both together which I do a lot as well. Um, and you can also do like say blush and just contour which I do a lot and blush contour highlight, blush and just highlight, um, bronzer and highlight, bronzer contour and highlight as well, um, highlight and bronzer and whatever way you want to do it yourself you can pick and choose it whichever way you feel will suit you better and there is reasons for picking in them certain ways as well. Um, but you can do it all together, all four steps together. So we're going to just start with bronzer for now. There's two types that they will come in, um, powder or cream um, so with powder it's a lot softer it's a lot more blendable it's like your eyeshadow you, you'll blend it easier um, it can go pigmented if you read really, especially if you're fair like me like I always have to be careful with my bronzer I always have to be careful of the tone of bronzer and your tone of bronzer is always going to be different depending on your skin tone as well great brands that work a lot with good bronzers for a large range of people the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powders, which I talked about in my powders video as like a setting powder, but the deeper shades in those are great bronzers and they do range quite dark as well. And um, the Fenty, I have a Fenty one here. I don't actually have a MAC bronzer. I have a MAC powder, but not a MAC bronzer. But the Fenty Sunstalker ones, they're great. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Um, also caters for a wide range of colors. I'd imagine Rihanna's probably gonna add to that soon as well. Um, I don't know, but I would imagine since she added to her foundation, She'll probably add to that as well. Um, yeah, just it, it, look look at the range of bronzers and look at how deep they are. Look, what I always say to people is, look if you like if you want your makeup to look a certain way, look at someone who looks similar to you. If that makes sense, I'm not gonna watch. Not that I don't watch them, but I'm not gonna do my makeup the, the exact way someone who is like say an NC forty, because that doesn't match me. And it's not how my makeup is going to turn out. The same way I would never tell someone who's an NC50 or an NW50. I'm talking matte colours here because they're the ones I know off by heart. Um, NW50 to watch someone who's an NC10. You can take the information. It's different as a makeup artist because I do a lot of this. But if you're just learning makeup off someone, it's, it's different. So... I don't have a lot of dark bronzers on hand at the minute and um, they're all part of work so that's different but I have my own here and I would suggest checking out Fenty and MAC for some deeper kind of colours if you did want reference for those. Um, so let's get into powders so as I said they're softer 
um, you would apply, I apply my powders with either of these brushes here. So this is my favourite one. This is a MAC 137S. It's a big, floppy, fluffy brush. It's my favourite, 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 favourite brush. I have three of them. I have two in work and I have one here. Um, favourite brush for bronzer. My second favourite is another one from MAC, but it's a lot of them look like this. They're the giant, really dense fan brushes. This is a 140SES. I don't know where that numbers, them letters come from. Um, this came out with the Christmas collection, but they do sell it normally, I think. But a lot of brands do. And some people do look at this brush and be like, what the hell do you do with it? I use it for bronzer. Um, so they're really nice. I'm probably going to use this in this video because I'm going to apply to my face. That's why I've got no colour and I look very, very, very all one colour. Um, I've also got no powder on because I'm going to be using creams as well. Um, and I'll powder before I use the powder ones. So yeah, they're very blendable. They you'll get a wider range I find of colours and kind of textures you can have shimmery ones I don't really use shimmery bronzer that much I'd rather just add a highlight or a shimmery blush mix it on top of the bronzer on the skin with your bronzer um it it's not like your contour it's different from contour contour is sculpting and shaping your bronzer is warmth and colour so I tend to go on anyone who's a bit deeper than me like a medium skin tone and deeper I would go to the high points of the face um, where it would naturally hit the sun. So say on my on my face, if I was to do it on my face, my nose gets a lot of sun. Um, here gets a lot of sun for me. Um, a lot of people do get a lot of sun here. I don't really. I more get it like right on the sides of my nose here and on my nose there. Um, the only thing is with a lot of bronzes, they're not as forgiving for pale skin. Some are, some aren't. Um, so what I actually tend to do is do it with blush instead because for me when I'm in the sun I don't go brown or at least I don't go brown straight away I actually go pink so for me it's actually more natural if I put a tiny bit of blush on my nose and a tiny bit of blush there you'll often see me do my nose with blush and everything um, and that to me looks like my own kind of bronzer like as if I've been in the sun um, so on my face what I do with bronzer is not where I contour, like the hollows and where I want, which I'll go into in the face shapes video and the contour video. Um, I don't go into like the hollows of my cheeks, let's say. So that would be somewhere here for me. I actually go high up onto the cheeks. Not up as high as where I put a highlighter, but kind of further back but high up on the cheeks, if that makes sense. I'm going to show you in a few minutes what I'm talking about. So that's generally where I tend to go. So higher up than you would normally apply your contour. Even if you contour the sides of your forehead, I would do the bronzer higher up here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. You'll see what you'll see what I, I mean. Um. So that's pretty much powder. I like really soft, fluffy brushes, bigger brushes, and something that's gonna really disperse the product really evenly on the skin. Now creams different. Um. I've got two here. It comes in a stick, and it comes in a compact or a mousse or a yeah mousse is kind of the easiest way to describe it um i've got this guy here it's my larizzi shade stick in the shade aloha it's actually a cooler tone as well so i do contour with this sometimes um and you can directly draw that on buff it in for these kind of products i quite like this style of a brush so it's like a duo fiber fluffy this is a luxy tapered highlighter brush but i actually love it for the size it is for doing my cream bronzer because it will cream you want a bit more control and don't use as much of this as you think you need to okay creams do be very pigmented sometimes especially this Huda Beauty one holy moly is this pigmented and this is the lighter shade and that's the, this is the one I'm going to use because I want you to see how strong it can come out but a tiny little bit so if I was say drawing with this I wouldn't draw a big stripe I'm going to do like three or four little dots on my face and blend that in. You can always add more. You can always add more. So yeah, um, with your creams, they will build a little bit quicker and you'll get a lot more pigment out of them. They look more dewy. So if you're quite dry, the creams are a little bit better. And if you want that real like wet, like you're not going to really powder that dewy skin like we did earlier in the videos. Um, if you want that kind of look, do a nice cream bronzer it's really nice and don't set it and it looks so beautiful and cream highlight and everything like that so that's the kind of look you're going for with creams powders i find they're easier i find they're a bit more forgiving on the skin so let's get into application i'm going to do one side of cream one side of powder the way i'm going to do this is i'm going to take 
Um, oh, another one I actually wanted to mention just before we get on with it. Um, Benefit do one. It's the Dallas brand. They also got their Hula and their Hula Light and their Hula Caramel, I think. Caramel, cocoa. It's something like that. Um, the Dallas is the one that I quite like on my skin. Actually has a bit of pink in it, which is great for pale skin. So if you're really fair and you find things come out too orange, it's a bit more pink in this, a bit beige, and it's really nice on the skin. And yeah, I use that a lot. You will see that in a lot of my videos. So if you want to go back, you'll, I'm probably using it. So for this video, I'm going to start with cream because I, do, I don't want to set my makeup just yet. Um, and I might only set one side because I am going to do blushes in this video as well. So we are going to do cream, say, on this side and then we'll do powder on this side. For my powder, I'm going to use the Fenty one. This is the In The Sun. It's a quite a light bronzer. Um, a lot of the time when I pick up a bronzer, it doesn't look like a bronzer. <laughs> it looks like just a deeper face powder, which it usually is, to be fair. So, yeah, let's get on to our application. So for the cream, this is the Tantour Contour and Bronzer Cream. Um, it's more of a bronzer because it is quite warm and this is the shade Fair, which is the lighter shade. And like I said, I'm going to use the Luxie brush. And I'm going to take like, like I'm, I'm not swirling, I'm dabbing it and taking a little bit at a time. So we are going to go, with, this is where I would contour. So I'm going to go a little bit further up. And kind of bring it up as if it was going onto the cheekbones, but it's not quite on the cheekbones. Just a small little bit at a time. Make sure you bring it back into the hairline so it always comes from like your skin. It doesn't just look like you've stopped it there like a big mask. And then what I do on my skin is bring it up a little bit into the temple. Now what I would do personally is I always if I'm doing it in order the way I would normally do it is I would probably do bronzer contour blusher highlighter or contour bronzer blusher highlighter either way will work um I don't do blusher first because I like to get my shape down with my my bronzer and my contour first like the the warmth and everything and then go in with my extra colors on top so you can even see there it's nice and bronzy nice and blendy I'm gonna take another tiny little dab and we're just gonna go just down the sides of my nose not like a contour I'm not in that I'm actually sweeping it onto my cheek a little bit here just to give me a little bit extra so let's zoom in and we'll just see how we're looking so can you see the way it's it is giving some shape because it is deeper than my skin but it's not giving like that is a lawnmower out my back garden my mom is, is cutting the grass awesome <laughs> um, i'm just gonna continue so yeah this is gonna be more it's just higher so my contour would be a lot cooler toned as well which is another thing i'll get into in that video um so this is a lot warm and you can see there on my forehead it's all quite soft and quite blended but it is there and it's definitely noticeable so that is how that side looks looks so weird on one side of my face and not on the other side it looks so like non-existent on this side um so this side i just put a bit of powder on because i'm going to do my powders on this side and i'll keep my creams all on this side i'm not going to set this just until the end so let's go into our fenty in the sun and we're going to go in with the 137 brush mine is a little bit dirty because i used it yesterday but that's fine it was only my face um so let's take a bit of that just a small bit and you'll notice I'm holding my brush further back as well because that'll give you less control which is a good thing for these kinds of things because you, if you are up here you're like choking your brush and you have to do a lot of work to get there but if you hold it back here you're just doing just letting the brush hit the skin the way it wants to in the area that you want it to you know what I mean um so you have all the control but it still looks a lot more effortless on the skin and the reason why I put down powder first before powder bronzer is because powder will just help it blend a little bit easier. Especially if you're fair like me. You'll find things go very patchy and it's very noticeable that they're very patchy on the skin as well. So I always try to just make my life easier. You can always go with setting spray if you don't want your skin to be super matte on the skin. Your skin to be super matte on the skin. If you don't want your skin to look super matte. You can always go in with like your setting sprays and stuff like that after. But this will just help it blend 
but you can see now it looks a little bit more even and then we'll just take a little bit of that on the side here just to even even our, our faces out here okay so that is our bronzer this side is a little bit stronger because the product itself is a little bit stronger and then this side is a lot more soft and blended um but i like it i do like it. i do love a bit of bronzer i think it is quite flattering on a lot of people i don't like to be too obvious it's it's my thing with having pale skin on myself that things do look very obvious on me so i try not to let it look too obvious now blush is a different story because i do love me a bit of blusher but I just try not to let it look too much. You can always bronze down your neck. You can, you know, use it along here and everything if you wanted to. But I try not, I don't because I don't care that much. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is bronzers, which I will touch on in my face shapes video. Let's move on to some blushers. Okay, so blusher like bronzer, again, gives colour. It's just a different type of colour. So with the bronzer, it's more warmth. It's more that sun-kissed kind of look. With your blusher, it's more your flush. It's like the the healthy cheeks. It's the um the blood rushing to your face. It's that real kind of fresh, youthful kind of glow to the skin. Um, so there's loads of different types you can go for. Well, I don't mean loads. There's three, but there's a lot of subcategories in those. And picking your color is the hardest part. I find the texture is a preference, and how your skin is. Picking your color is quite hard and. A lot of it is preference so it's something that you kind of have to decide yourself as you go Um, it's like when people say to me what is my lipstick color I can suggest a lipstick color but that doesn't mean you're gonna like it you know what I mean I could say oh you look amazing in red and you're like I've never worn red in my entire life and I never will but maybe red is your color but you aren't willing to wear it so it's trust me it's a lot of preference and it's a lot of factors that will factor into it so I'm just going to go through the types first. So we're going to set our powder is the biggest. That's where you'll get your biggest range. It will come pressed. This is the Benefit Dandelion. Just a very, very pale pink. One of the most beautiful blushes ever. And that is, <clears throat> it's a matte <clears throat> or it's mostly matte. Um, then you've got Loose. This is an e.l.f. mineral blush <clears throat> in the shade Pink. And it's just loose. It has a bit of a shimmer to it as well. It's really nice. You can kind of see there. And yeah, it's very nice. Um, there's no really reason why you would choose one over the other. Press is always easier because you can bring it out with you and put it into your bag. Um, but the loose still does the same job. So there's no real reason why you wouldn't pick that one. Um, so you know, you've also got different textures in that category. So you've got your matte, which would be your dandelion. Then you've got satin, which I would consider the Clinique Cheek Pop Melon Pop as a satin. Um, so it has a sheen to it. Um, it's not shimmery, not like the next one I'm going to show you, but it has a sheen. So he's gorgeous. He's one of my favourite blushes right now. And then your shimmer, which is your glowy blush. So when someone says a glowy blush, this is what they're going to talk about. It's basically a highlighter blush kind of hybrid so they're they're quite shiny but they still give color to the cheeks um and this is into the pink extra dimension blush from mac and it's just a nice pink i have fairly precious is probably their most popular just a pinch is a gorgeous kind of peachy kind of color and then you've got cheeky bits is a gorgeous coral color the extra dimension highlight or extra dimension blushes are amazing from mac um but that's how that looks so you can even see there it's quite reflective but that's going to give you a lot of glow so if you have texture that you don't want to emphasize i wouldn't go for that i'd go more the matte or the satin satin is gorgeous um if you don't want to put highlight on but you still want to glow he's the way to go um and if you just like i love that kind of glowy super shiny look on my skin i love that so i always i go between them all i don't have a particular preference on any of them i go between all of them next little subcategory is going to be creams so your creams are more for drier skin your powders are going to be more for anyone's skin and um, but if you're very dry go for cream um two options you have this is the bobby brown rouge pot in the shade pale pink it's not pale nothing pale about that not in my eyes anyway um i've also got the fresh melon which is a nice peachy color um and that is just a cream so it just goes on cream and it gives you that nice dewy wet look to the skin so like my dewy video that i did wet look not shimmery more wet more cream more dewy i don't like saying wet too much in my eyes wet sounds okay but in the average person or the general makeup users word if i said to you we're gonna make your skin look wet you're gonna be like oh no um creamy and dewy that's the word you want to go for your other option is a good way for cream 
for a kind of oily combination skin but again uh dry skin can wear it this is an ingla amc cream blusher in the shade 91 it's a creamed powder it's not super powdery but they do they don't stay shiny on the skin they don't necessarily set but they don't stay shiny on the skin um with creams i would always apply them with my fingers or i would go for like your little duo fiber brushes like those they're great for creams with your um powder brush blushes any of these so like your your flat smaller kind of brush this is like a rounded flat top brush which i love for blusher my favorite one is the mac 168 um he's slightly angled as well he's good for contour um so they're great for those ones and yeah so then the last one is one that's not as common um you, you just don't see it a lot um and it's i wouldn't say it's difficult to use it's not difficult to use you just have to um what's the word like play with it if that makes sense and it's your liquid or gel kind of fall into the same category because they are very similar to each other so for one liquid i've got my inglot amc face blush this guy here this is in the shade 86 86 yes 86 and it's just like a mauvey color and um, it's got a little pump on it pump a little bit out you only need a small bit and pop it on i quite like the real techniques contour brush for that i think that's really nice kind of just for like whisking it onto the cheeks so that's him you can also just apply it with your fingers which i do quite a bit i do like using my fingers on my makeup by the way and then you've got the trifle cosmetics lip and cheek jam which is weird and um, it's 78 percent water based 99 percent natural fair enough a lot of the times you'll see that they're very pigmented because they're quite sheer so they do sheer down and they give them almost transparent color to the skin very nice very natural if you don't like wearing foundation these are great because they just give you a very thin layer of blusher it's so nice on the skin so they are beautiful so the next part of blusher the hardest part of blusher is your color now again i'd have to be sitting in front of you and deciding what way your makeup's going to look and then we'll decide blusher towards the end that's how i pick my makeup i kind of decide on the look i'm going to go for the colors i want to go for even the lip i want to go for and then the blush kind of comes in and was like yeah that that'll go so a lot of it is preference i personally will wear any kind of blush to a point um i don't wear a lot of bronze blush because it's a bit too kind of dirty looking on my skin i know i'm wearing bronzer right now but bronze blusher it's too pigmented so yeah um but i will wear purple I, you will see me wear yellow I've worn, like I said, purple, lilac, red, fuchsia, the brightest of brights to the lightest of lights. I pretty much wear them. That's preference to me though. And I'm neutral leaning on the cool side of my skin tone. So like your your skin tone is going to factor into it, how your makeup, your eyes are going to look, what colour lip you're going to go for, your own personal preference. It all factors in and you kind of have to sit and play with it a little bit yourself so i'm going to give you some options of cool tones warm tones and neutral tones just some options so you can have a little look at them and see what i mean when i'm talking about these um, and i'll explain them a little bit okay so let's start with cool tones so your cool tones are always going to have a little bit of an underlying kind of icy look to them or a bluey kind of look to them they're not going to look blue on the skin but if you're very very tanned and warm and you went for something that has a bit more of a purpley undertone to it it will look a little bit either dull or a little bit funny on the skin because it's not blending into your natural skin tone so i would always suggest if you're on the warmer side i'm not putting you in the box to say only wear warm but just be careful when you go into cooler tones it's just something that you'll have to probably try on to see how it looks first and um, same with cooler tones sometimes a lot of warmer tones can go very orange on the skin they can go very strong on the skin and yeah neutral a lot of people can wear and people with neutral skin tone can wear anything really i feel like that's why i can get away with a good few of the blushes they don't all suit me trust me not they do not all suit me that doesn't mean i'm not gonna wear them though i don't mind looking a bit weird um but yeah so let's start with cool tones so i've got two creams here these are both from mac and um, one's a cream color base and one is a, a casual lip and cheek color um, this is Lazy Sunday and this is Madly Magenta. This one is a lot more purple. If you have dark skin on the cooler side 
even actually on the warmer side because my friend is quite warm she's an nw like 48 and this looks amazing so this would look amazing on her so yeah it's a cream again apply with your fingers or a little duo fiber brush and it's a good option for deeper skin if you do have deeper skin and looking for something that's going to be bright enough and strong enough to show up on your skin this one here is gorgeous on paler skin one of my all-time favorite blushes and i hardly use it because i know they don't always have this color so i try not to use it up too quickly but lazy sunday oh it's just a beautiful baby pink it's gorgeous in the winter months when i want that little bit more of a dewy look to the skin and it just gives me a nice little bit of flush but it's really nice on the skin and then your last option now i would always suggest these little palettes you will always see me use these palettes and i have about five of them i think um they are the sleek blush by three palettes so you get three colors in this one you've got one cream and two powders different tones different textures it's the best way to play with these and i think they're like 12 12 euro or something like that it's the best way to play with this i started buying these when i was starting out doing makeup because i was like if i had like five of these all compact together i have got 15 blushes compact so easy so yeah and great way to play around with tones and textures some of them have shimmer some of them are all cream some of them are all powder they're the, the best way to get yourself into blusher trust me <clears throat> you would swear i'm advocating like i'm i'm paid to say this i'm not but i love these so this one is the sweet cheeks palette um this one in here i used in my what did i use it in oh i think it was my three looks one palette the september rose slush palette um I think it was the first like the one with the blue and purple i think that was where i wore that this one here is cream it's a gorgeous kind of bright kind of a uh, magenta pink so it has a bit of purple in it and this one here is a really really bright hot pink and it's gorgeous it's gorgeous that's probably a little bit on the warmer side in this palette these two are definitely on the cooler side though so yeah invest in these these are so good now on the opposite side you've got warm so warm you'll find a lot more and with a warmer skin tone, tan, false tan, being on holidays, I tend to bring wear some of these kind of colours. Um, so let's start. This one is a soft one. This is the MAC Mineralized Blusher. And it's a matte finish. Um, this is the Love Me Like Me. Gorgeous kind of orangey peach kind of colour. Really, really nice. I do wear this a lot. And I just think it's gorgeous when you want to do that bronzy kind of look and have that kind of colour on the cheeks. Or even an orange lip or something like that. It's really nice with then for a bit more colour if you did want something a little bit stronger or you like something that's warm but still has a bit of pink in it I would go for the Hey Coral Hey it's the same it's the mineralised blusher it's the matte ones Hey Coral Hey fabulous on paler skin like me tiniest little bit and you're flying but it's just this really nice kind of like a coral basically um, and yeah it's just really really beautiful putting this on the cheeks a little wash of gold on the eye and a nice kind of bronzy lip or like a nice um terracotta lip or something like that or even even an orange lip um or even a coral lip actually yeah coral lip would be fab with this so yeah that's that also when you're picking your colors think about the look you want to go for so if you want to do monochrome so if i wanted to do a coral look and i'm going to do coral in my eyes coral cheeks coral lip i'm gonna go coral um but i'm not gonna do coral with a purple look if I want it all to be monochrome and have a purple lip so you have to it's it's difficult I know it is and even when I'm doing my own makeup and I'm sitting there and I'm like okay so I'm gonna do a blue eye um I'm gonna do a nude lip so then what what cheek do I do and I do tend to go on the pinkier side because the blue is cooler pink can lean cooler so I tend to lean on that side and then I have another one of these little palettes this is my deeper one this is the sugar this definitely has some nice warm tones in here great one for deeper skins as well that's a little bit more on the natural side because sometimes this can be a little bit bright um or those kind of deeper shades can be um or even just like red is quite nice on deeper skins but if you want something a little bit more on the natural side for deeper skins him fabulous that one is demrara i think this one is a bronze fabulous and then this one is more of a peachy color um i don't use a, this a lot on myself unless i particularly need it like say with my colour series, if I'm going to do a burgundy look, I might use that blusher. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, really, really nice. And my one tip from this video, invest in these guys. 
Now, neutral, it's always a safe option. Um, and I have a couple here. One of them you might not think is that neutral, but it actually does work for a lot of the people's skin. So I do categorize it as neutral because it'll go both ways for you. So let's start. The first one I have is a Makeup Geek blush. This is the shade Cherish. Oh, love this color. Such a beautiful, simple, throw it on and it's absolutely fabulous. Um, it's kind of got like a bit more of a neutral pink that's not pink if that makes sense it's like a neutral pink brown mixed together it's so it's so nice if you're wearing red lipstick and you don't know what blush to go for something like that fab speaking of something to wear with red lipstick warm cell from mac how can you not um definitely a slight bit of warmth in it but it's still categorized as neutral because i can wear it i wear this as my bronzer sometimes even if i'm out or if I bring it on holidays with me, I'll just, and I'm trying to be quick, I'll just throw a bit of this on my forehead, down my nose, and you'll see in, in a while where I put my blusher on my nose. But yeah, so nice. Also with blusher. Okay, so another thing about blusher is that if you get redness in the skin, does not mean you're not going to use blusher. Doesn't mean you can't use blusher. You're just going to use a different type of blusher and you're going to place it a little bit differently. And I'm going to show you where to place it on my face. Um... But if you go and completely blank out your skin like the way my skin was like this, you're going to have no colour and it's going to give you no dimension on the face and no kind of life to your skin. You'll literally look like you've got a mask on. So you still want blusher and you still want the colour there, but you're just going to tweak it a little bit. So your neutral colours, they're great if you've got a bit of redness or a bit of rosacea around here. They're great for those kind of ones. The last one is also from MAC. This is Peachy Keen. And you'd be looking at that being like, that's not neutral, that's warm. The pink in it is neutral, but it has a gold shimmer. So it was really, really nice. I wore this also in a two, three looks one palette. It was the Juvia's Place Saharan 2 palette. The second look. See, I remember these. The second look. And I wore it in that. And it was so, so, so nice. And that was a warm look. And I put this on. I put an icier kind of highlight on. Really cool. Really nice. Um, so he's a gorgeous colour, he's very popular as well. So let's get into a bit of application and I can show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so on this side here I'm going to do cream and on this side I'm going to do powder as well. But I'm going to show you two different placements on either side and they're both different tones as well. So it's it's very different. Um, so I'm going to do Warm Soul, the powder on this side, just so you can see. And I'm going to do the more, if you've got redness kind of um, technique where you're going to just place it a little bit differently. And... On this side, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Pale Pink because it's a bit cooler. Uh, yeah, it would be a little bit cooler. It is more of a magenta kind of colour. And I'm going to pop that just the way I would normally apply it. So we're going to start with cream first. So we're going to start with this. Um, I'm going to use my fingers because I always use my fingers to apply this. And I literally just take two fingers and just tap it a couple of times. So I don't start here with my blusher because then I've nowhere to blend. And I want some space to blend. I actually start kind of, if you follow the outer corner of your eye down onto your cheek, that's kind of where I start. So it gives me a bit more wiggle room here. And I kind of start there. Now where you apply your product, even with powders and on a brush as well, where you apply it first is where the most colour is going to be. So start where you want it to be the most pigmented and then start blending from there. And I just blend it all the way up. Now I like blush, so sometimes I do go a bit mad with blusher. And I'm just blending it back into that bronzer just so that there's no like line. You can't really see where they start and stop. I like to just let it settle on the skin. Taking one more tiny little dab on my finger. Just go down the centre of my nose here. Because that's where I would go red if I was in the sun. You don't want it to look like you have a red nose. But you do just want to look like you've been in the sun. Got a little bit, little bit of colour in your face. See how much better that looks now? I can't I can't do it without blusher. I just can't. I would rather not wear makeup. But when I started this video, that was so weird for me. So then we're going to go on to the other side, the powder side. And we're going to use the Warm Soul Blush from MAC. It does have a little bit of a sheen in it, um, which is quite nice. And I'm going to use the 168, which is my favourite brush for favorite brush for blusher. So, like I said, you start back a bit here, while I do anyway on my face. So it gives me a bit more blending time. So if you're very red here, you're going to kind of do the same thing, but a little bit further back again. Almost back it right onto your bronzer. And kind of start there and bring it as forward as you want to, depending on how red you are. If you're more red out here, bring it more forward. So you're just, you're almost trying not to emphasize the red too much. Because you can see there, it's 
the colour is all here where the colour stops around about here on this side. But you can even see like that doesn't look like that in the container. I was so amazed with this blush when I first started using it. So you can see the difference. It's just a bit higher. Also, if you want to lift the face a little bit more, so if you're feeling like you want a little bit more of like that kind of look, apply your blush a little bit higher than lower. And don't smile. I try not. You can kind of do that to see where your cheek is, but I try not to be like this because then when I do that, it drops down. So I try to keep my face as kind of neutral as I can. Alrighty guys, so that is the blush and bronzer video. I hope it was a little bit helpful. I know it's a lot of information. I know it's a lot of like, figure it out yourself, but it's just take these all into consideration that this is what I think about when I'm picking my blusher for me or for anyone else. It's what I would, if you were sitting there in front of me, this is what I'd be asking myself or asking you what is gonna lead me in the right direction to the right color for you. Um. I'll explain more face shapes and all that kind of stuff in the face shape video and I'll be incorporating all of this. So I, not necessarily the colours, so the colour was more this video, um, but say the placement. So if you're more of a rounded face shape, if you're more of an oval, if you're more square like me, um, because I'm a square face, and how to kind of, not necessarily change it, but just if you want somewhere that's going to be quite flattering for the face to be, that's where you're gonna apply it. So hope it was helpful. If you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments if it was a little bit helpful for you. If you have any questions about anything, if you wanna even send me a picture of your face and I'll try to help you, I have no problem doing that. Go follow my Instagram actually and you can DM me there. That's a nice easy way to do it. And I can give you some suggestions of the type of color or even if there's a particular color that I know of that would work quite well, you can let me know that. And if you do send me a a picture kind of give me you know oh, I wear a lot of red lipstick I wear a lot of pink lipstick I wear a lot of this you know I like my makeup stuff like this or I want to start wearing it but I don't know where to go so yeah you can do that I'll I would say don't send me anything to do with say like liner or anything like that because I'm going to do those videos and I would probably sell you to do the same thing again but yeah you can do that if you want um and yeah so leave me any questions you have below and if it was helpful you can let me know as well also hit subscribe because I'm going to be doing more and you can learn about the face shapes in that video that's coming up eventually. Don't know when. I've another one of these to go before I do that because I want to do my contour and highlights and loads more. I have loads more coming up and yeah hit like like I said and if you do hit like I will do more of these because I'll know you like them. So yeah I'll see you in the next video guys.